Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and on today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect a second monitor to just about any Apple computer. It could be one of the iMacs, MacBook Pro, or even an Apple Pro, it doesn't really matter, because there's two ways you can connect. One is with a display port, and the second way is with USB-C. So if you have an Apple computer and you wanna learn how to do this, sit back and relax, and let's get started. Here we have one of the older Apple computers, and if you look on the back of yours, you can see there's some USB connections, but then you have these little ports right here. These are called Thunderbolt ports. So a while back when I used to use this computer a lot, I picked up this inexpensive adapter. On one side of it has a display port. It also has a DVI. And it has the HDMI, so that's compatible with just about any monitor out there. And all you need to do is just plug it into the back of one of these ports, then you can plug your monitor into the adapter. Now here's another adapter with HDMI. And that's ideal if you plan on using two separate monitors. There's a lot of different types of monitors on the market, but in today we're gonna to show you this Dell monitor because it has all the inputs that I showed you today, except for the DVI. Let's take a closer look at the bottom and then I'll show you how to plug everything in. Since HDMI is the most popular, let's go and plug one of those cables in. And then plug the other end into the adapter. And now let's power it up. The last thing you need to do is modify the arrangements. So for example, if I try to take the mouse and move it over here, you can see it's hitting the bottom. But if I move it over to the other side, now it's on the other monitor. It's very easy to fix. Go to the Apple logo in the corner and then go down to System Preferences. Click on Displays. And then click on Arrangements. Now since the monitor is on this side, we need to just drag the mouse over and put it on this side. And after you do that setting, you can see the mouse can move to this screen and then back to this screen like the way it's supposed to. Now, if you put the monitor on top, you can arrange it that way. If you put it underneath, you can just change it any way you like it. Now, here's my main Apple computer that I use now, and you can see the connections on the back of it are different. Instead of using mini display ports, it actually used what they call Thunderbolt 3. But reality is, it's USB-C. So here's the common connection that you can use on this one. Here's a USB-C to a display port. And this is a USB-C to a HDMI. And you can go to the same example I just showed you. That would go to your HDMI. And that would go to a display port. And you would plug it into the back of the monitor just like I showed you earlier. Now everything's set up and ready to go. And keep in mind, everything sets up just like I showed you earlier in this video. Now there's all kind of different adapters on the market, so you may have to adjust this if you have an older monitor, but here's some examples of what you can use. So I hope this video helps you guys understand how to add a second monitor. Since a lot of people are working from home, this is gonna allow you to have that second monitor like you do at the office. This also works on a MacBook Pro that has the HDMI output. This is a way that you can add a third monitor. And if you like this kind of content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.